Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Carol and I am the owner of Casa de Flores aka Paper Goodies by Carol. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do part two of the Baby Girl mini album tutorial. Here is the album we are recreating. Today we will do the pages. So page one through six. Okay, so to start, let's collect some material. I have my pages I did on the first part. Um, we'll need some craft eight and a half by 11 paper. We'll need the paper collection. I chose to use the same paper collection, the uh, ba Sweet Baby by Echo Park. Let me confirm. Baby Girl, it's Baby Girl by Echo Park. Okay. So, I have already done a couple of things. I took the four sheets from the paper collection and I cut down all of the um, little tags. So I've cut all my tags out, four sheets of that. I've also gone ahead and cut out these. Okay, these mats. Um, and I will do one just to show you how. But. So that is all I've done so far. So for this first page, we're going to need one of our cutouts. Let's change it up a bit and say this, this one. We will need the eight and a half by 11. Looks like we'll need another page of that. Our main. And then some photo mats, an acetate sheet. Okay, so let's focus on just that. All right, so to start, let me measure. That is seven by five and a half. So we are going to grab our paper. going to measure seven and a half and we said by no it's seven by five and a half so seven by five and a half and I'll cut it again at six going to take a craft sheet of paper and you're going to cut it by seven you're going to score at five and a half and then you're going to cut the paper at six and that makes this flap this flap right here okay so now we're going to make this flap, and this flap is 4.25, no, 6.25 by eight. That's 4.25 by eight and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna grab our new sheet of paper. Let's just confirm the sizes. We're going to cut this by six and a half. one quarter I mean it's six and a quarter and then we're going to score it at four and a half okay so we have our sheet that we cut at six and a half now we're going to score at four and a half and fold that in. Finish 
that on. Then we're gonna cut off this axis. Then at 425. Okay, so we have our first part of that page. Now I've already chosen my four sheets of paper that I am going to start off with. So you're going to cut the base of your pages down to eight and three eighths on both sides. Eight and three eighths. So I have my sheet. This is going to go right here. And then this is going to go here. And then I have an acetate pocket that goes on the bottom. So to start, we need a magnet. I bought this huge set of magnets from Amazon. So we're going to take the smaller magnet and you're going to place your magnet. I use my score tape for the magnets. Okay, so we are going to place one here. Peel that off. And you can just put it right back. And the other one will go on the back. Okay, so that is set. So now we're just going to glue this part together. I just eyeball it. That looks like the middle. I hold it down, push my paper in, take my favorite adhesive. And there we go. Then I am going to put a sheet of paper to cover. How much does that measure? They said seven, so I'm going to take one of my twelve by twelve from my stash. I'm liking this one, or maybe not. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to pick a sheet. I go through a ton of paper. That's just how I do it. I love buying paper, so I have plenty to use. I think I like that one better. Okay, so I'm going to cut. This was seven, so I'm going to cut down one fourth. So we'll do six seventy five. By that was five and a half, so we'll do five point twenty five. And I will just use the same one for the back. One here and one here. Okay. So again, I'll actually use my tape gun. Do the same to the back. My tape went a little bit over my paper, so I'm kind of pushing it back. 
because I don't want it to be seen. Okay, so same thing. There we go. Now we're going to take our six and a quarter by four and a quarter. right there let's see I'm kind of liking the green one again yeah I think I prefer the green so we're just gonna take that down So now you have your photo mat for two pictures there. Flip open. And I already cut a few. I already had these cut up. These are photo mats that I place in the album. Uh, I don't know exactly how many I have here because I, I usually do things in quantities. For example, when I did these, I make like 25 at once. Um, just so that I have them for future. Uh, so I already cut out some photo mats. Again, these are six and one fourth by four and one fourth. And I probably have about 15 of each color, pink and like a lighter cream. So I will use one of these photo mats and place it right there. halfway done with the first page we need to do a pocket an acetate pocket okay so I have not done many of these this was the first album that I've actually tried doing this so there might be an easier way to do these but this is how I do it okay so let's grab our ruler again and let me measure Ooh, there's a fly. Okay, so this is about nine and a half. Nine and a half wide. I guess it really doesn't matter what. This is about four and a half. Okay, so let's cut down this paper. So the eight and a half by 11, I cut down at four and a half. Okay. about a little less than eight and a quarter so I'm going to just go here one inch and then I'll do half an inch at four and this I want eight and one fourth okay there we go now, if you want, you can cut off the excess. I don't really mind, but I will cut it off. Okay, so here we go. This is the beginning of our pockets. Okay, so if you want, you can leave this pocket the way it is and just put a one of your decorative sheets of paper to cover this area but I made an acetate pocket so I want to continue that okay so let's see the inside of the acetate is about seven 
by two and a half. So I'm going to grab the second part of the sheet that we just cut and I am going to cut it down at seven by two and a half. So seven by two and a half. Okay, so this is what I'm going to cut out. I'm going to bring in this. I'm going to bring in my X-Acto knife. Now, the first time I cut this out, I used my Cricut. It's just easier. This time, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use this paper mat. You know what? Maybe I should cut it a different color so I can see it better. different color so I can actually see so the first time I cut this I used my Cricut but this time to show you just in case you don't have a Cricut you can cut it out like this as well so holding down oh you know what let me use this okay that looks about even to me oh man okay so we have 75, ooh, maybe not so much there, just a little bit over. So we're just going to cut here carefully oh my god this one is gonna kill me it's not gonna kill me it's going to annoy me I'm sorry okay I'm just carefully cutting I don't usually use an exacto knife so I might not even be holding this right oh wait like this careful with the edges Ooh, that hurts. Okay. All right, that's not bad. Acetate. And we'll cut this at three and one fourth. Right, so three and one fourth by about seven seventy five. Side of our pocket. All right, so there goes our acetate pocket. Looking good. Okay, so. When I close this, I see the other side of the paper, so I need to trim that down. So let's trim that down to about three fourths. 
You know what? It might be easier to just add some tape so that can guide us. Okay, so I'm just going to cut off the accent. Okay, we are going to cut off our corners. There we go. And now we're just going to, there we go. So, always do your sides first before you do the bottom. Ah, you know what? I forgot to do one part. And that is miter these edges here. If you want, you could go all the way to the bottom, or you could go midway with this one. I think I'm going to go closer to the bottom. Disorganized my craft. Here we go. And we're going to push that down. And there we go. Now, I think that right here I need a magnet. We could use a magnet there. So whenever I forget to put a magnet somewhere, if I really want it there, I'll, I'll have to break it apart a little. So this is how I correct that mistake. I think this side is more forgiven. Okay. Okay. So I want my magnet. I'm going to use a thicker magnet for that sign. Just put it back here. So 
so then the other magnet would go right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift very carefully. Okay, I'm going to retape it, we'll glue it down. Being really gentle with that paper. I might use a sticker or something to cover it. I should have done it earlier, but I mean, you're going to make mistakes. And this is how I fix some of them. Okay, so you got one magnet here, one magnet here. We are going to leave the decorating for the very end so we can use up our scraps. Okay, so we have that page. Let's see, what else are we missing? Okay, I guess we could add on the some of the decorative elements. To wrap this page up so some of the stuff I used I made photo mats so in here you're going to have a few photo mats now I've already made these using my Cricut this one I made using my Cricut and Okay, now you could photo mat, you could just mat two sheets of paper like I did here to add a couple of more. However, I made a few others. I made this one and this one. Okay, so let's do these two. Again, for this part, you can just photo mat. What I did is I cut out a sheet of paper of 424 by 6.25. Oh, you know what? That might be off. Yes, it is. So it's four and a half by six and a half. The pink paper is 425 by 625. And I glued them front and back. That is how I do the photo mat. Same thing with the bigger one. The bigger one fits a five by seven. So you cut a five and a half by seven and a half is the brown paper the pink paper is five and one quarter by seven and one quarter so you can fit a five by seven and i did that front and back okay so for here we have these two and we are going to make two more so we're going to make these we are going to get our cutter parts Let's see. So this one I definitely want at the front because it has all the baby stats. For the back, I can choose a different one. Let's say that one looks cute. So we'll do these. Two. So how do we do these? Very simple. to 
grab a craft sheet and we're going to cut it by four and one fourth. This way, four and one fourth. And we're going to score it at four and one fourth. And that is going to give you the mat. For this one and now this one very similar we're going to cut it three and one fourth and we are going to score at four and one fourth fold it And there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back. Bring back our sheet. And now we're just going to take it or glue it. This tape is sometimes faster, so let me go to whatever works. There we go. All right. And that's it. That is our first page. This one goes here, and this one goes there. Oh, like that. But that's it. So now we are going to grab our page number one and we are going to glue it down. Okay. So for this I use my score tape because it is a little heavy. going to tape it into our page so this is my first page and this is how I want it to go however I just noticed that this part where the sheets connected is on the top and I don't like that so I'm going to flip it over okay so this will also be flipped over okay so page one First, fold in all of your tape you might have. Okay. I prefer to stand up when I do this. Just make sure you have about the same amount of space. And press down. And there you go. There is your first page. are there photo maps 
and we'll leave the bottom, the rest of the small decorating pieces for the end. Okay, so now moving on to page number two.